Hello, everyone. I am Alfredo Dominguez Diaz, President of the International Organization for Cooperation in Evaluation and co chair of Eval Partners. Warm greeting from Mexico. Today, I'm with you to talk about capacity building opportunities, consulting and conference for young and emerging evaluators at the global, regional, and national level. Before I begin, I would like to take a few minutes to give a very special thanks to Mongolian Evaluation Association, which is undeniable one of the most influential BOPES in the Asia region. It has distinguished itself by creating many spaces for experience exchange and evaluator training and has allowed me to be with you today. In particular, I would to like to thank Chimji, the current president of the Mongolian Evaluation Association, who has been a tireless promoter of the association inside and outside of Mongolia. She is a great representative of her association in the region and undeniable one of the greatest promoters of young and emerging evaluators. Thanks, Chimji. To continue, I want to give some context on what IOC is and who makes it up. IOC is a global network linking 100 existing national and regional associations worldwide. IOC main mission is to raise public awareness validate evaluation globally, and support BOPIS in country to good governance, effective decision-making, and strengthening the role of civil society. For those who are not yet very familiar with IOC, I would like to answer the question, what is IOC committed to? IOC is committed to build evaluation leadership and capacity, especially in developing countries, fostering the exchange of evaluation theory and practice around the world addressing international evaluation challenges, and helping the evaluation professional take a more global approach to contribute to the identification and solution of global problems. What does it mean in action? Action one, fostering leadership and evaluation skills. IUC actively works to develop and strengthen the skills of evaluation professional, especially in regions where the evaluation is still growing. We achieve this through training programs, mentoring, knowledge and resources sharing, and promoting professional standards. Action 2. Promoting the global exchange of the theory and the practice. IUC facilitates the exchange of knowledge and experience among evaluators from around the world through its task forces, webinar, participation in conference, workshop, and online platforms, fostering collaboration and mutual learning. Action 3. Addressing International Evaluation Challenges Those involved in IOC identify and address global changes facing evaluation, such as the need for culturally sensitive methods, the evaluation of complex pro programs, and the integration of evaluation into the decision-making. However, we are at an event for young and emerging evaluators in one of the most promising regions in the world. I want to highlight IOC commitment to young and emerging evaluators. IOC seeks through leadership and evaluation capacity building action to promote training opportunities for young evaluators. Programs such as the IOC Leadership Bootcamp, of which we hope to keep news at the end of the year, or the workshop of the inclusion of IE in the evaluation process that will be delivered virtually are spaces designed for young and emerging evaluators to find tools that allow them uh, to develop the skills necessary to meet the challenges of the evaluation process. IOC is also committed to the inclusion and diversity. It is by the nature of the people who make it up, an inclusive environment for people from diverse backgrounds. This aspect adds a plus to the participation in activities of the task forces by enriching them with perspectives so diverse that in many cases we could not even imagine. Now, that I have mentioned the IUC task forces, we currently have four, professionalization, communication, resource mobilization, and soon, EA and evaluation. The first is professionalization, created to support the development and implementation of professionalization in evaluation. It seeks to disseminate evaluation knowledge and best practice, harmonize ethical guidelines, and guiding principles define evaluators' competence and recognize the essential knowledge and skills required to conduct a quality evaluation. The second, resource mobilization, 
aims to empower BOPES by improving their capacity to identify opportunities, develop competing proposal, and manage results effectively. The third is communication. It seeks to develop and execute communication strategies to enable IUC members to share information that serve the community and allows them to learn about what is happening globally on evaluation issues. And the last is EA on evaluation. It seeks to bring evaluators closer to responsible use of the AI tools through practical elements such as meetings and workshops, and some more theoretical ones such as a research and discussion on the impact and the use of the tools on evaluation. We will be delighted to see you participate if any of this interests to you. You can find more information on IOC website. The IOC seeks to be an open space for young people to discuss and collaborate in building the future of evaluation. Our commitment is focused on ensuring that innovation and new perspectives are welcome in the spaces that the IOC opens. Above all, we seek to promote the participation of capacity building spaces for evaluators from different regions in all regions. However, the talk's object is also involves pointing out existing opportunities in areas such as consulting and conference that can contribute to developing expertise and capacity buildings. Consulting represents an opportunity for work, learning, and training. However, the most important thing is to know where to look. For those who wish to participate in international projects, the portal of the United Nations agencies are obligatory places to start looking. However, other sources of opportunities, such international organization portal, are oriented to work with specialized topics such as the use of drug or migration. IOC annual partners also have an option, the Peregrine Network, that brings together almost 4,000 people who exchange daily job opportunities and training opportunities and contribute each other by answering questions, giving advice, and sharing resources and ideas. I'm sure this site will provide a good starting point for a successful career in evaluation. But what about the Conference for Young and Emerging Evaluators on global, regional, and national level? The range is extensive, but let's start with perhaps the most important one globally. Youth in Evaluation Week, organized by Eval for Action Initiative, is the most influential and accessible event for young people globally. The BOPIS, or regional association, have integrated important participation spaces designed for young people into their conference. Within the regional conference, we have the European Evaluation Association Conference held biannually. This year, it will take place in Italy. In Latin America, this is the International Conference of RELAC, which will take place in 2025. In North America, we have two very relevant conferences, the Canadian Evaluation Association that took place in John this year. This conference is one of the most important spaces to talk about the colonization and First Nation. We also have the Conference of American Evaluation Association that is perhaps the largest of all and with the highest number of topics as well as networking spaces. And lastly, the ASEAN Pacific Evaluator Association Conference that is undeniable one of the most culturally diverse and influential, which in the last edition was a great space for exchange. Finally, country-level conferences are very important spaces for developing discussion closer to the environment of each evaluator. They are natural spaces for the development of communities of young and emerging evaluators. I conclude my talk by reminding you that the future of evaluation is in your hands and that its growth will depend greatly on your work to continue developing spaces and activities that are training. It has been a pleasure, and I wish you more success in the rest of the bootcamp. Thank you.